That's correct. Those parents had two options as to how that fall semester would look for their students. Uh, so some of them will be arriving here shortly when school starts at around 720. They haven't had a, heard a school bell ring in a long time, so definitely excitement behind that. There are around 12,000 students here. Some of them will be beginning online today. Now they have that option to do what they call the flexible learning plan. That meant that their learning style depends on the current case count of COVID-19. There was also the option for Fox C6 Virtual Academy. That's where students will learn virtually with a one semester commitment. This morning, students will start on a somewhat staggered schedule with the last names A through LAF beginning virtually and the rest beginning in class if they made that option. Now joining me here this morning is Dr. Ryan Sherp. He's the principal of Fox High School. Good morning to you. Good, good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. So tell me how you're feeling today. I'm sure there's a lot of uh, anticipation, excitement, nerves going on. What are you thinking this morning as you guys begin? Yeah, all the above. I mean, I can't tell you how excited I am to be back at school with kids. We haven't had kids since March. Um, we have had students up here, though, that are participating in athletics. So that's been great. But first day of school, I mean, you got to be excited about that. And I can tell you, I can't wait. Our teachers can't wait. Uh, we are nervous. It's a, you know, we haven't done this for a while. It's going to be exciting. We're doing something totally new, but we got this. It's going to be great. It's going to be a great day at Fox High. So what has it been like for you all navigating through uh, creating a hybrid schedule and uh, laying this all out? Your website looks nice. It has a lot of instruction for the parents. What has that process been like for you all? I'll be very honest with you. It's, it's a, an incredibly complicated process to do. Just doing the master schedule for 1800 students is pretty complicated think about your own family when you have you know di different things going on and you're trying to to fix calendars to make it work for everybody that's basically what a building a master schedule is like when you have 110 teachers and 1800 kids and trying to make all those pieces go together now when you have certain kids that aren't going to be here certain days and, and are going to be here some days building that schedule was an incredibly difficult process but i think we pulled it off all right, so thank you so much, Dr. Sharp. Before we wrap up, tell me uh, what you want to tell on parents and students who are getting dressed right now, headed to come to class today. Come on in, Fox High, we're ready for you. Hey, listen, my daughter's a senior this year at Fox High. She was so excited. She woke up before I did today. She's like, Dad, take a picture of me. It's my senior year. I'm like, honey, of course, I'm going to take a picture of you. And uh, we just couldn't wait to get out the door. So um, welcome back to Fox High. We're excited to have everyone. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Sherp. Now, of course, the parents and or the students and the teachers will be required to wear masks while they are here in the building. They will also be wearing their masks if they do ride to school buses home this morning. You heard him. He is excited here. Superintendent just showed up. They're ready to get classes started. Reporting live from Arnold, I'm Blair Lede. Back to you.